Hello WordPress bloggers, welcome to another episode from How to Webmaster. Today I will be reviewing and testing out WP Optimize. This is a free plugin to improve your website performance by cleaning up your database, compressing your images, and caching your website. I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check it out. And to test out this plugin, I will be using it on my website here, weightloss.pix. Let's do a quick speed test run for my website to see the before and after installing WP Optimize. I'm using the speed test tool from freeseo.cloud. Let's take a look. And the current score is 67% with a page size of 1.6 megabytes and about 1.5 seconds for the load time. Now I'll do another test speed run with Google PageSpeed Insights. Now let's click on analyze and the current score is 71 out of 100 which is about average. Here are some times about 2 seconds for the speed index and 2 seconds for time to interactive. Okay now let's add the plugin to the website. Head over to your WP admin dashboard under plugins menu here. Click on add new and then search for WP optimize. It will look like this right here. Let's click on install now and activate. Okay, once activated, there will now be a new menu item over here for WP Optimize. And once you click on it, the first thing you will see is the database page right here, this welcome alert. And the first thing you wanna do for the database options here by default, run all selected optimizations for your database. So let's go ahead and do that. And depending on your website size, it may take a few seconds or maybe a few minutes. And I want to mention that before you do the database optimization, make sure you make a backup and you can use Updraft Plus. It's also a free plugin and I have a tutorial for that. I'll leave a link down below for you guys to learn how to make your own automatic backups of WordPress. Check it out down below. Alrighty, it's done. It took roughly one minute to do. I have only 230 something posts on my website. Okay, next up is images. And let's scroll down here. And depending on the kind of website you have, you can choose to automatically compress newly added images. And you can also compress your current images if you want. Here's all my current images. And if you click here, select all and then compress the images, you can do so. For this particular site, I do not want to compress my images because that may actually make the quality pretty bad. So you may wanna test it out on a few images first uh, before you actually do a bulk amount of image compression. Okay, let's go on to the next part, the cache. Okay, make sure you turn this on right here to enable page caching and then everything else you can pretty much leave as default. Okay, and the next part, preload. Uh, this feature will automatically visit your web pages and cache the site for you so that when a new first time visitor comes to your site, it will uh, see a cache version of your site or page. So it will be faster for them so let's do a preload right now. And you can see it's loading up your pages and this will add to the cache files. And now schedule the preloader. You can choose to activate it if you want. And you can see here I have 1,622 URLs. Plugin is visiting each one of these pages to load it up to the cache. So that way, again, to my visitors who have a faster experience when visiting my pages. I'll just cancel that for now. And let's do save changes. And I think this is optional. You don't really need to do the run now because naturally your pages will get visits by human visitors and that will cache the site uh, anyways. But it only matters for the first visit. They will have a slower website experience until the site is cached or the page is cached. Okay, next is minify. Let me exit this alert. Okay. Okay, here just enable Minify. Uh, this will help optimize your JavaScript and CSS files. And that's pretty much it for this settings. And now next is the JavaScript. 
and by default it's already enabled uh, once you enable minify and i'll just recommend sticking with the default settings and the same for css it's already default and everything else looks good okay next let's check out the settings and these are just some optional extra settings you don't really need uh, to mess with okay next let me load up my website to make a cache version and now i will run a speed test again okay let's do it right here for for free seo cloud and for google page speed test okay from the free seo cloud speed test the score is now improved to 77 percent which is only a 10 percent increase from the previous score of 67 percent for some reason the load time is point about point two or three seconds a little bit higher but the page size is a little bit less 1.4 megabytes and the old one was 1.6 now the google page speed test has improved to 90 percent which is an a grade compared with 71 for an average grade and let's see the times so it dropped the time almost one second for the speed index 1.3 seconds compared with 2.3 and then time to interactive it's the old number was 2.1 seconds and the new number is 1.8 so this was a, a pretty good uh, improvement from average to a gray which will also help with seo so yes uh, wp optimize it works it's great it's fast free recommended i'll leave a link down below and you can install this from wp admin as well thanks so much for viewing i hope this helps please be sure to subscribe to my channel how to webmaster for more wordpress tips tricks and tutorials thanks again and until next time happy blogging